Hey guys, horticulturist Gary Bachman. It's time for another daily dose of hort. Well, the project I've got going here this morning is I've already sown the seeds for my fall tomatoes. And as you can see, they're, they're all up. So it's time to go ahead and transplant them. And I just want to remind everybody of this is, you know, what I, the mix I use, the pots I use, all the propagation equipment, and we'll, we'll take a look at that right now. Now this potting mix, this is professional potting mix. This is one of the Jolly Gardener products, which you, you guys know I'm, I just love using really good potting mix when we um, go, go ahead and uh, do um, tran transplanting um, seedling plugs. This mix I have I have added osmocote because we got we got to have the, um, the the nutrition there. We have to bump that up. But I'm also have added the um, dolomite, and dolomite I use in everything because that's something that's going to keep our magnesium up, going to keep the calcium available, especially with tomatoes because we really don't want to get blossom end rot. And I have found when we go ahead and we mix the dolomite into this, this transplant mix, it helps alleviate some of the um, blossom end rot that we will see that will happen. Now with this mix, I do like to use the, the three inch um, cups that um, work very well in my system with the um, with the um, the earth boxes. I can then just drill a hole, pop that that plant in there, and it makes transplanting very very easy. Now, as far as the um, propagation tray that I'm using, I, this fall I decided not to do that dense sowing that, that I've done in the past because I'm just not going to grow that many more tomato plants this fall. So space really isn't an issue. So what I've done is I've sown the seeds and th this is that Bootstrap Farmer 72 cell um, plug tray. This is the one that has the, um, let, me, let me see if I can find it here. Maybe, 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 you, can, maybe you can see it in here. But, but these have slots so it actually acts as an air pruner and so when these, um, these seedlings are growing, you don't get as, they don't get as root bound as if they were in a traditional um, uh, 72 cell um, seedling tray. Um, I've also, th these originally are 10 by 20 and they fit a, a 1020 uh, tray, but for my, the way I grow, I've, I've just cut these in half and it fits perfectly into the bootstrap farmer um, 10 by 10 um, tray with, with no holes. And that allows me to add water into the bottom, into the bottom and not leak all, leak all over the place. I also like these trays because if we turn, if we turn them over, so they've got holes in the bottom. So all I have to do is just take my finger and punch it out and that, that plug will just come right out. It's way better to do it that way than to take that seedling and, and try and yank it out like that because you're not, you're not gonna be happy with the results because you're gonna tear the root system up. So what I'm gonna do with this, it, it's really easy to, um, to do this, um, this potting up. I'm just gonna take my, my, my finger here and see, make, make, sure I get, make sure I get it on camera. See, see how that, that plug is coming right out? Now that it's loose, I can go ahead and I, I can pull that plug out. See, it's got nice, nice root system on it. These, I sowed these on, see, I put a date somewhere on this. Um, these were sown on um, July 1st. So we're the, um, the 17th, 17th or 18th today. So in ju just a little over a couple weeks, we've got seedlings that are big enough to go ahead and transplant. And I'm just gonna, dibble a hole with my finger and then just take that take that plug and just pr press press it in ju just like that and you know that that's really all there is to it 
So that's really a quick demo of how I'm going to um, transplant these um, tomato plugs into my three and a half inch cups. And then they'll be ready. I'll put them outside, get them under shade to acclimate. And then middle of next month, they'll be going into the earth boxes and we'll be growing some great tomatoes in the fall. In case anybody's wondering what I've got going here, I've got um, the micro tomatoes because I'm really fascinated by the micro tomatoes and I think you guys should be too. But we've got Orange Hat, Red Robin, Rosie Fitch. We've got, let's see, what's the, where's the other ones at? Birdie Rouge, Aztec Micro, Hardin's Miniature, Homs Geliba, that's kind of fun to say. Florida Petite and Monetka. They're reds and yellows and oranges. These plants, if you, you know, go back to the, um, the micro tomato videos we did, they produce full-size cherry tomatoes on tiny, on tiny plants, which, which are really great. I've also got Black Seaman. I've got a new one that I'm introducing this year called Heritage Cottage Black. I've got Heritage Cottage Orange, my orange tomato that I've, that I've been pushing for a couple years now. And we've got the Siberian, which is, I, I think it's just a great all around, you know, three to four, five ounce little red tomato. And we've got a couple of other paste tomatoes that I've been trialing from super secret sources just to see how they do here in, in our deep south. And if, if any are, you know, show some promise, we'll, we'll have those available. All these, seed, these tomato seeds are available in the Heritage Cottage Seed Seed Store. I'll put, I'll put a link to it there. And these are all seeds from veggies that we're growing here at the Urban Nano Farm, collecting, harvesting. And so th this is, these are really plants, really vegetables that will do well here in our deep south, our hot and humid conditions. So I, th I think it might be worth checking it out. But anyways, I've got a lot to do here. So I'll see you guys later. And thanks for joining me for on this version of The Daily Dose.